Hey guys, welcome to Goku Light Anime Recommendation. And uh, today I figured I would talk about a series that is very underrated and a lot of people don't know about it. And in my opinion, it, aside from Naruto, it's the best ninja series I've ever seen. Now, the show is called Nabari Ono. It is about 26 episodes, so it's not as long as a, a big three or one of the, the more common shonen you're really going to get into. Um, and honestly, it's not as humorous. Like, if you're really into more of like the comedy style, the anime or manga, this really might not be for you. But um, essentially, it's it's more serious and even along the lines of a sending kind of thing. But uh, it's for sure. I would still feel like a bit of a shonen, just because there is a, a little bit of humor and uh, just the way that the art is done in general. Um, there's a little bit of blood, but not too much. Now, essentially, uh, so. Going into the plot without like spoiling anything for you, the story uh, revol revolves around basically like an ancient scroll that's uh, inside of the main character. It's a source of power, it's the strongest power in the ninja world. A uh, Nabari Ono, um, the translation means like ninja world something, you know, so it's all about the ninja world. And uh, so it's not like Naruto where we're like in like the, these different villages hidden in the leaves or anything like that. Um, you know, that's a great concept. Um, this is more of a modern uh, ninja kind of concept. So basically, like you have everybody going to school, and it's modern day. And off the beginning of the series, um, you wouldn't even necessarily know that uh, it's it's really ninja based, um, because when you come into the beginning of the series, um, essentially you know we see a lot going on. Uh, just you know, with a lot of sh with a lot of shonens or enemies in general. The very first episode, they try to entice you. And really hook you in. So, really, in the very beginning, we see a lot of uh, essentially special effects or you know just graphic things going on. It's real crazy. Um, but after the first few minutes, it starts to slow down. We see the main character, uh, as you can see in the picture, um, essentially start to go to school and try to blend in with um, everyday life and just be normal. Um, but as you'll see with uh, which is about any series that we can get into, there isn't going to be a normal life for a character like this. Um, essentially, like, the the main character is, with most, with most uh, I would say, Shonen, um, is very timid, you know, and it's not a bad thing. Um, and I've seen differences, like I've seen some main characters be aggressive, I've seen them be, you know, just kind of stupid. Uh, just, it, it varies based on artists and the creators. But uh, this the main character of the series' name is Miharu. And uh, Miharu basically is a descendant. Um, his his mother was like, she had the scroll on him prior, and I think she gave it to him. And it's been a while since you know I've since just seen the very first episode. Um, but essentially, if people like this recommendation, I might start reviewing the series. So when I do anime recommendations, if people comment below saying they really like the series and they want me to review it, then I'll review it. But essentially, it's just going to be a one shot recommendation and go from there. Um, so essentially. You have Miharu, and uh, he's like the main focus point of the show. And so once he, we start finding out how the ninjas operate in the modern day world, it's a little bit different. Essentially, there's different territories, uh, like almost like lines, state lines kind of thing, where ninjas operate in different sectors. Like, uh, so essentially, we, there's like, I want to say like three or four different villages that actually are ninja clans that are participating in the series. And uh, they each have their different area. And, and each of them kind of want Miharu for their own reasons. Um, because obviously he has these powers and he, can, he has a great influence on the ninja world and what's going to happen in the future. So um, basically, instead of it being a thing where the, the main character is trying to take down some villain, um, it's, it's more based around the main character seeing these different perspectives and how people want to basically use him and how his, uh, his abilities and being you know, the, the, one of the strongest characters can be into the future how his uh, actions will basically affect the ninja world in a big way, in a ripple effect. You know, basically, if you were watching Naruto, and the main character was more concerned with how his actions were going to affect the ninja world kind of thing. You know, so that, it's pretty cool. It's a different perspective. It's not as, you know, humor-based. It's more serious and, you know, tragic. When people die, they die. There is no, you know, plot armor in the show. People die. Um, that's pretty cool, too. I feel like it's a little bit of a combination of something like Naruto slash Akame Ga Kill. So if that sounds like something you might want to be into, you might want to check this out. Highly recommended. Um, I give the series a 7 out of 10. Really good. Um, only reason I don't give it longer is because I, I prefer longer animes. Um, but yeah, 
And if you prefer reading, there's also a manga version, so you can just very easily check out the manga version. Uh, I believe Square Enix had adapted the manga version, so it's done pretty well. Um, I believe it was even a short novel at some point. And yeah, so 26 episodes. If you have a weekend to blow and you want to see something pretty cool, check out Nabario now. I recommend it. Main character, in the middle of a lot of ninja madness. Um, another great thing about this series is anybody with great power, like anyone that's really strong OP, has a great effect. So like, for example, it might affect their bodies, like it might put a strain on them, like they might start dying quicker, or, um, you know, there's just a cause and effect in this show. There's no unexplained things, no just random powers, and I mean, you do have powers, it is a shonen, but at the same time, um, it's really well explained, and it has a real, really strong cause and effect thing, which I really enjoy. So uh, if you're looking for another ninja option, you're really into ninja anime, you just finished Naruto, uh, give this one a try. You know, it takes you like two days maybe at most if you if you just binge through 26 episodes. Highly recommended by Goku of Light. So yeah, it's coming at you with anime recommendation from Nabari Ono. Goku of Light, thank you for checking it out. Peace out.